Hi, I'm Stephen Mallon. Welcome to The Power of Images. Today I'm going to be talking about my photo essay on the SS United States and the fight to keep it afloat. This was an assignment that I had from National Geographic. One of the writers saw the industrial work that I had photographed and asked if I knew about this ship. And he had actually traveled on this ship when he was a child. It was originally launched in 1952, and it's beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. It looks like it's a knife when you are staring at the bow at the front of the ship. It was designed for speed and elegance. It was built as a transatlantic cruise ship and holds a speed record, still to this day, of crossing the Atlantic. It was co-funded by the CIA as a backup emergency troop carrier in case we had to go into a ground war in Europe again. So they helped develop the propellers, which were classified until the 1970s. It unfortunately was built right at the edge of jet aircraft being built. And so the ship didn't get the life that it could have and possibly deserved. The ship has been completely abated. There was a bunch of asbestos on site, and so they did take it overseas, had everything stripped out of it. So it's pretty much just the hull at this point. I had looked online in advance, and we looked at the floor plan and kind of mapped out areas that we're going to be interested to photograph. One of the photographs that we captured when we arrived was the area where the live band would have played in the first class lounge. I just loved the symmetry and the light that was trickling in. I just found these different moments to photograph, depending on the time of the day and, you know, how the light was coming into the ship. I was photographing this gyro stabilized compass to keep the ship on course. And then I turned around and realized just how beautiful the light was that was coming down the hallways watertight hatches that are designed to close automatically in case of any possible damage. One of my other favorite images from this project was the promenade. This deck just had this wonderful like monochromatic tone to it with these windows and the light was just cascading in and just created this beautiful texture and there was this other circular structure and just it created this wonderful never-ending loss into infinity. One of the other images that I loved was the engine room, which is the 240,000, which is the number of horsepower that this ship had. As I said, it holds a speed record for crossing the Atlantic. It also is faster going in reverse than the Titanic was going forward. The engine room was definitely a little bit of a challenge because it was quite dark in there. There's no power on this ship. There's no elevators. So we're going up and down seven, eight stories in these tiny little stairwells with camera equipment. It only brought two lights with me, and in retrospect, we needed 20. But we just we didn't have the equipment with us. So one way to deal with that is light painting. For a non-photographer, what that means is using your light source, you know, a flashlight or flashes or whatever, and moving the light or increasing the exposure by firing the flash more than just the ones that would be typically captured with a camera. And then there's also the image, the water is fine. And this was this copper lined pool inside of the ship. And the title comes from the fact that you're out to sea. And I guess they were just not sure if it was like a saltwater pool or not. So there was a sign on the side of the wall there that I saw and said, the water is fine. One of the things that I noticed that was kind of missing was the aerial or direct linear view of the ship. What I suggested to National Geographic is, can we rent a lift and get me up 40, 50 feet up in the air so I can be more on a parallel plane with the ship to photograph these different elements of it? 
One of my other favorite images, again, from the lift is the tourist class door. This kind of gets to my obsession about textural maps because I am a wannabe painter. I am a horrible painter, but this is a way for me to emulate some of the things that I love in painting. One of the images that we shot from the cherry picker, I love the balance of the rust and texture of the side of the ship and this monstrous anchor. There is an organization that is working to keep the ship out of the scrapyards because they want to keep this piece of American history preserved. And so they are actively looking for a port where it can be retrofitted and live a new life. It's got a lot of potential, a lot of history, and the founder of the organization is the granddaughter of the engineer that designed the ship. There are generations of loyalty and love for this vessel to keep it alive into its next generation of life, whatever that might be. Mm -hmm.